welcome back to another video for this video we're going to be doing a breast because october is breast cancer awareness month we're going to be doing a combination of uh, halloween nails with breast cancer awareness so we're going to be using this pink color from the gel bottle that is called single wink i'm going to use the pink i'm going to have two accent nails which is going to be the ring finger and the thumbnail so the rest are going to be pink i'm going to be using black um, master black from dnd so i'll be doing the ring finger and the thumbnail i'm going to apply two coats on each nail um, I like to do the black as thin as possible because I usually have problems with bubbling and the black bubbling up um, I apply really thin layers to make sure that that doesn't happen and I make sure it stays under the lamp for a minute each coat so now I am applying the second coat I usually am very careful with the with color black and white those are the ones that usually uh, that I usually have troubles with when it comes to drying under the lamp because of the those colors are just for me they are very hard to work with so I'm extra careful making sure that they're Thin layers and that they stay under the lamp for at least a minute so after this I'm going to start with the nail art I'm going to be doing some spider webs this is the brush that I'm going to be using I got this on Amazon I'm going to be using 991s from candy coat 209 from the Beatles a single wing from gel bottle master black gel paint black gel paint and white chalk from dnd i'm going to play, put the link of this brush on the subscription on um, on the description box i'm sorry um, this is the way that I like doing the spider webs. There's different ways of doing it. I like this one because I just think it looks cute. Kind of like in the U form. Instead of just doing straight lines. So every time I finish um, a color or a nail, I like to put it underneath the lamp to make sure the gel doesn't move around. Right now I'm going to do the... This nail is going to have a mummy, so this section right here is a, a triangle because this is where the eyes of the mummy are going to go. So usually when I do a color, I like to apply all the nail art with that color that I'm using. So in this um, section right here, I would normally would have done all of them together at the same time that way they all go to the lamp and then I use another color or I could use the same brush and just clean it up I'm going to be using this brush that I got on my um, boxy the nail boxy um, I'm using this silver just as an accent color to make the spider webs glittery and after this, we're going to do the spider. I'm, do, I'm using my dotting tool and just making a small dot for the head and a bigger one for the body. I'm going to use my liner brush to do the legs. It's pretty simple, just two lines. It's not complicated at all. And I'm also going to be adding a small silver sil silver dot in the well inside the body of the spider just to give it something different. 
just to make it glittery as well. I'm going to start with the mummy now, which these are supposed to be like the bandages. So I'm just making different sections just to make it look cute. I went based off of a picture that my client brought from Pinterest. And then now we're gonna put this on the lamp. And since the ones, the nails with the spider webs are done, I'm going to apply the top coat. I'm super clumsy, so I wanna make sure that I don't mess them up or get any other gel polish on them. This way they're sealed and they're done. So now I'm gonna make the eyes. It's just two dots and then applying two other dots, black dots. I, after every color, I take the hand to the lamp to make sure I don't mess it up. Like I said, I'm really clumsy. So I make sure that it's dry and if anything happens, I know I could just go over it and clean it up and then just start. And I don't have to go back and redo the whole design. For this nail, for the ring finger, we, I'm going to be doing a skull. This one I really don't know how to explain it because at times I don't even know how I do it either. I just try to make it exactly how I see it in the picture that they bring. So I just made kind of like a half circle and then a smaller circle in the bottom. That's how I can explain it. And then I'm applying the top coat on that nail because it's completely done just to make sure that, like I said before, I don't mess it up. I'm going to be making a little bow in the corner. It's just two triangles. Like so. And then I take it back to the lamp. And now I'm going to be making the eyes. I, would I, to me it was easier to make it like hearts just horizontal and then just two lines for the nose kind of like making a, a shape heart as well and then for the teeth I just made like a, a square looking and then just made little lines it's pretty simple pretty basic and then I'm going to to go around the bow just to give it some texture make some lines in the center just make it look cute and then this nail is completely done I'm going to apply top coat and for the thumbnail I'm going to be making a pink ghost for, like I said, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Here's for the ghost. I made like a U. And then just making kind of like a triangle. I'm filling it in. And making like a U going out. I can't find another way to explain it. So the dotting tool is to make the head and then I'm just gonna make a straight line to give it a neck. And we're gonna take this to the lamp. After the bow. And after this, I'm going to go around the ghost with the dark pink and then we're gonna give this ghost some boobies after I go around it and give it a little face as well and there it is little cleavage and the little face the eyes and the mouth so 
Now I'm going to be applying this black lines to give it that bow looking like if it's folded because it didn't look like that previously. And after this, I'm going to apply the top coat and then we'll be completely done. Um, for the other nail, it, the thumbnail doesn't look the same. So this one says, um, save the boo bees. So this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.